and welcome back to Sincerely Legenia. I am back today with another delicious, quick, and easy keto recipe. Today, I'm gonna be making a delicious Philly cheesesteak spaghetti squash. It is fabulous, it is so yummy, and it will be ready in no time flat. If you wanna see how I make it, then stick around because I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so we have our spaghetti squash here, and I'm just going to pre-season this before I put it in the oven to roast like I've done before. If you wanna see how I cut and gut out the spaghetti squash, I'm gonna put a link to a previous video that I've done right above here, right about now. And you can go on and look at that video and see how I cut out um, my spaghetti squash. So the first thing I do is I rub my spaghetti squash down with olive oil, as always. And then I season with kosher salt. I season it very generously. And pepper. And that's it. And after I've seasoned them, I put them cut side down on my sheet pan as such. And I put them in the oven at 400 degrees. So for this recipe, I'm gonna be using the seasoned sirloin Philly steak that I got from Walmart. I got this for about seven bucks. Let's get started. I'm going to begin by first sauteing our onions. So I'm gonna start out with a little bit of olive oil in my pan, in my skillet here. And I'm gonna add those onions that I sliced up. Our onions are nice and caramelized and smelling oh so good. So what we're gonna do is return our onions back to our bowl here. And now we're gonna get ready to add our steak. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil to the pan. And our steaks come in these already, these little planks like this, and they're already frozen. And I just put them in here while they are frozen. And um, always have, and they cook up just fine. So I've got my temperature. Start out on medium heat. As our meat is cooking, I always add a little bit of seasoning, salt, seasoned salt, and I'm gonna, today, because this is what I have, I'm gonna use some Lowry's, and I always just put a little bit, it says it's already seasoned on the package, but to be honest, I've never really tasted any seasoning. <laughs> so, I always add a little bit of my own, and usually that amount that I put on there is just enough. So once it thaws out, I then begin to just break it up like this so that it can begin cooking on the inside. And as you can see, it's still got, got a little ways to go. But I tell you what, already it's smelling delicious. All right, now that our sirloin steak has cooked all the way through, we're going to return our sauteed onions back into the pan and get that going. So our Philly cheesesteak mixture is done. I'm gonna turn off the heat. And to this, I'm gonna add a little bit, maybe a fourth of a cup of uh, mozzarella cheese here just a little bit because we're gonna also top our finished spaghetti squash with more Parmesan cheese so we're gonna mix that in
add our some of our cheese steak mixture to our delicious and when I say delicious, I mean delicious. All of this smells good. All of it smells so good. Okay, we'll reserve the rest of this for the other half. We are going to top with more delicious mozzarella. You can use mozzarella cheese or you can use provolone cheese. I think provolone is usually the cheese of choice. Um, for most, but I like the mozzarella and mozzarella is what I have. So now I'm gonna put this back in the oven until the cheese gets all melty and gooey and then it's time to eat. cheese steak spaghetti squash bowl is ready and I am getting ready to taste it you all this looks so good do you see this do you just, are you all looking at what I'm looking at here let's dig in because I'm hungry and I cannot wait anymore do you see this you all see that oh my goodness oh my gosh I wish you were here to taste this with me because I'm by myself and um really I don't care Mm. Very hot. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, this is so good. Mm. Mm. This spaghetti squash has this buttery like nutty type taste when you have the thinly sliced beef from the philly cheesesteak the sirloin cutlets the thin slices is so good and then those onions and then the mozzarella cheese all good stuff mm. this is amazing Mm. You guys have got to try it. Mm. And you've got to try it soon. All right, everyone, I'm going to finish eating my food here. This is absolutely delicious. If you like this video and you want to see more just like it, remember to leave me a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell right next to the subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me. I love getting in my kitchen with you guys and cooking delicious low carb keto meals. I wanna know how you like this dish. It is so absolutely yummy and it is quick and it is so easy. I'll see you guys next time, but until then, have a wonderful and prosperous week. I love you all so much. Sincerely, Legidia.